Anyways, a couple of weeks ago, I came across this Twitter thread, and when I saw it, I knew I had to talk about it, because it related to me personally. Now, me and Twitter have a love-hate relationship. On one hand, some of the funniest people alive are on Twitter, but on the other hand, some of the dumbest people alive are on Twitter. But over the years, I've learned how to balance it out, because you gotta do that if you want to be on Twitter and not lose brain cells. And very few tweets move me to the point to where I feel I have to make a video on them. Like, it is my duty, my calling to talk about this. Here's the tweet in question. Now, upon initial contact, this tweet was a bit of an eyebrow raiser for reasons that will become evident later. However, I decided to dig a little deeper and take a trip to this person's Twitter bio. Now, I'm, I'm showing you their bio because I want you to get a feel for the type of people who post stuff like this. I want you to get a feel for the type of people who post stuff like this. I, I, I want you to get a feel for the type of people- Y'all, I'm- There's word on the street that a lot of people think nerds are sexy. And I don't have a problem with that, but my issue is, is that it's disingenuous. Nerds have never been attractive to women. Not only have nerds not been attractive to women, nerds have not been able to get women. <laughs> Before we can even talk about this, we've got to define what these things really are. So a nerd is someone who is passionate about learning or smart. You typically see these people that go to Harvard, Yale, Princeton, um, Ivy League schools. Those are nerds. Those are the nerdy guns. The like when when you think of nerd, you think of like Carlton Banks off a of French print. Geek is someone that is passionate about passionate about some particular area or subject, often an obscure or difficult one. So it's like data science, computer engineering, nuclear physics, and then you have the dorks. The dorks are typically guys or anyone who has difficulty with common social interactions or expectations. And I'm glad he pointed this out. A lot of women that like gaming and are on Twitch, they are not there for gaming. They are there to run the pockets of simps, thought, show off their assets, and make money off of nerds. Because they know that all they got to do is dress up as, as an anime girl, show cleavage, and they'll get all the money from the nerds. And look at this creator's bio. Because I've seen this with my own eyes. I used to have a Twitch, and I would game on Twitch. And a lot of women on Twitch are not there to gain. They're there to get people to their only fun. Their Twitch account. This <laughs> exactly my point. See what kind of game she streams. And I came across this. I just got to put it in here because this shit is humorous. <laughs> Hello? What do they want me to do? <laughs> and see, a lot of these women that say gamer guns are cute, nerdy guns are cute, they have a fake Twitch 
and they live stream and they have no clue what they're doing, how to play a game, and they're just doing it to get simps into their chain so they can donate and they can link them back to their OnlyFans so that they can get more simps to pay for seeing them naked. Big I'm not understanding. What? what do these idiots want me to do? Oh, other way. <laughs> I'm so stupid. You get the picture? You picking up what I'm putting down? Let me show you one more example, and I don't have to travel far because it is a top reply at the bottom of the original tweet. Hold on. If, what, what does this say? Let me read it. If they read Bleach, Berserk, and Fairy Tale, I owe them some. A lot of women don't even know what Bleach Berserk or fairy tale is. They haven't read the manga. They don't even watch the anime. They're just saying this to appease nerds for the sole purpose of them going back to their only thing. Like I said before, I, I just want you to get exactly this a feel for <laughs> the joke. So, Y'all, sometimes the jokes just write themselves. I'm sorry. Sometimes the jokes just write themselves. Yep. I'm sorry because you 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 see. The tomfoolery. Women say nerdy guns are cute. You go to the woman's profile. It's half naked pictures with an OnlyFans line. The kind of people who post. Now, the problem that I have with this tweet isn't that it's a couple of OnlyFans girls trying to boost their subscribers. I gotta eat too. The problem that I have with this tweet is that it's all cap. Because if you've grown up as a nerdy black dude, as I have, you would know that black women would not touch you with a 10-foot pole. But I'll talk about that later. Back to the tweet. It was so bad that somebody started a separate Twitter thread where they asked black women to post their nerdy black boyfriends. And all that Twitter thread ended up being was black women posting their conventionally attractive boyfriends who just so happened to be in the nerdy stuff. Now, I will admit that there was a few couples in there that truly were just two nerds falling in love. But what made the tweet even funnier was that in that thread, a couple of black women were getting exposed for lusting after white men in the past and yeah yeah and and see i'm glad he brought that up because a lot of these nerdy black women they really like nerdy white guys we didn't get any play not from any woman because the common excuse that women like to give is that Oh, well, you didn't get any play because you were too busy going after the women that look good and not the gamer women that wanted you. And all I got to say about that is those in glass houses should not throw stones. Now, here comes the part where I talk about my personal experience on this topic. I don't know if you realize it yet, but I myself... I myself am a black nerd. I am an African American male who possesses unconventional hobbies such as anime and video games. I'm not gonna use the term blurred because I think that shit sounds fucking stupid. I've been playing video games and watching anime since I was in grade school. I got a fat ass PS2 game collection. On occasion, I hunt down rare retro games so I can add them to my collection. I, I really do this nerd shit. And I can safely say after 20 years of being a nerd, being a nerd has never gotten me any pussy whatsoever. No. Yeah. And then we have Star Wars. Shout out to any Star Wars fans we have in the house. This shirt, I got this shirt from Target. And I'm probably showing my age, but for those of you who know, you know. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what this is. If you've seen this movie, you know how old 
that movie is. But that was what I wore every day, Monday through Friday. I didn't get women at all. None. I was a late bloomer to getting women. A very late bloomer. Because being a nerd or a geek, you really don't get women. And that's the sad reality of being a nerd or a geek. Women run the other way. They run from you. Because when you're a geek and you're a nerd, all you talk about is the new Xbox, PS5, Nintendo Wii, the Wii U, the Switch. But when you are a nerd and you go out with women, you're so excited to just have a woman be interested in you that you kind of unload on her all of this unnecessary gaming stuff that she really doesn't care about. So while she's there to get to know you, you're there to tell her about World of Warcraft, Magic the Gathering, and Yu-Gi-Oh! We can identify with this. And then what happens when we get into these spaces is you have black women invalidating our experience by saying things like, oh, well, you need to grow up and you need to stop being bitter because you're grown now and you're invalidating our experience woman in the history of ever has ever wanted to date me because i told her i liked inuyasha or cowboy bebop or dragon ball z no woman has ever thrown it back on me because i told her i like going to arcades a woman has never had to wring out her panties because i told her i had a collection of ps2 games it's just never happened on the real though could you imagine that hey girl i play video games i watch anime and i got a big juicy thick ps2 collection being a nerd never right that doesn't happen it truly doesn't like no woman ever saying i'm not gonna date you unless you have a ps4 an xbox one a nintendo switch old school gaming console a manga and comic book collection and the 1998 Ninja Turtles collection action figure in the original packaging. No. Not many bitches, just plain and simple. I'll tell you what it did get me though. It got me flamed and ridiculed often until about the beginning of high school. No joke, I got called gay for nearly a whole semester after I mentioned that I played video games. Y'all think I'm making this up. This happened in eighth grade. Now with this in mind, you can imagine how surprised I was when people began to come out of the woodwork just a few years later talking about how much they love nerdy men. Ooh, I love me a guy who likes anime. Now people are trying to rewrite history and say people didn't get bullied back in the day for liking anime so oh, you didn't get bullied for liking anime you got bullied because you naruto ran in the hallways and tried to go <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i did that i i did that uh naruto ran i i forgot how old naruto is but I remember Naruto running. It may not have been in the hallway, but it was somewhere. Super Saiyan in the middle of class. Bro, how you gonna tell me what happened to me? How you gonna tell me I didn't get called gay for liking Dragon Ball Z? The worst offenders of this revisionist history campaign are the girls who want to sit there and tell you, oh, y'all didn't like us back in high school. Y'all always went after all of the white girls. Hold up. See? See? You see that line? You see that line? Because earlier he broke it down. We didn't get anything in grade school. A lot of nerds and a lot of geeks didn't even get women. We didn't get white women, black women, Latino women, Asian women, Arab women. We didn't get any women. But of course, women have to make up a lame excuse as to why 
we didn't date them in in grade school and even today. Y'all didn't like us. Y'all were too busy chasing white women or the good looking women or the eights, nine. See, they always said, well, you wanted to go after the eights, nines, and the tens. When the gamer girls were there, we just got ignored because y'all didn't want to date us. Y'all wanted to date the cheerleaders and the 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 people that wanted to go after the football player. Like, no. And he's going to explain it right now. Let me get this straight. So you're telling me that as hard as it was back then to find a girl, let alone a black girl who was into nerdy stuff, nerdy black men was just out here curving nerdy girls left and right? Man, this is some bullshit. I wish I was getting approached by some nerdy black girls back in high school and uh, middle school. In my entire school career, I only knew three black girls who was into nerdy shit. One of them used to bully me, the other one friend zoned me, and the third one moved away. Now, two out of three of those girls are dating white guys now, but that's besides the point. All I'm <laughs> See, sometimes the jokes just write themselves. I, we we all can identify with this because when we all were in school, or if you're in school now, or whatever part of life you're in, while well, you're watching this video, a lot of the nerdy black girls didn't exist. There were no nerdy black girls in in high school. And if there were, they really wasn't checking for the nerdy black guys. They really weren't. And even today, women don't check for nerdy black guys. They truly don't. Even if they are in the nerdy community, they really aren't checking for nerdy black guns. All we wanted back then, all we wanted was to be able to play Budokai Tenkaichi 2 with our little boot thing right next to us. But we couldn't get that. It was hard out here for nerds. And then you got people who just get nasty with it. I saw this one dude on Twitter say, you didn't get bullied because you watched anime. You were just a horrible person. Uh, uh, I can't believe it. Watching Inuyasha and Dragon Ball Z on Saturday nights on Toonami made me such a horrible person. How could I have been so blind? Man, compared to me, King Von must have been a saint. Bro. Stop it. Get some help. Now, as much dogging as I just did on people who said we didn't get bullied for like an anime, I got to agree with them to an extent. We didn't get bullied for like an anime. We got bullied for liking anime while being ugly. It's about time some. And see. Now, this is where the rubber means to run. A lot of guns got bullied for being ugly, for being socially awkward for being people that just don't know how to interact with women and during that time and even today the nerdy gun still kind of has the stigma of this and a lot of the stereotypes about gamers and about geeky guns were this guy overweight sitting in front of the computer? You see the Hardy's bag, the Monster Energy drink, the Red Bull, the game, the dirty keyboard, the half eaten bird. Like, you know the stereotype. And then you all know this stereotype. This. Stereo time with the pee jugs. Don't want to go to the bathroom. Unhygienic. Don't know how to dress. Wearing long baggy shirts that don't fit. Dad jeans. Dirty shoes. Like a lot of nerdy and geeky guys were bullied unfortunately and again over here we don't condone bullying at all so if you're a bully out there and you're bullying people stop it
because nobody likes to be bullied. On the flip side, this is kind of why we were bullied, as women don't like nerds. Shout out to the three women that are watching. Y'all don't like nerds. Y'all like guys that do nerdy stuff. Like play NBA 2K and Madden.